Noob Noob, not only did I hear that you're a communist, but that you also endorse the murder of dogs. No, that's that fucking commie prick David Harbour. Fuck that guy. Pretty sure Noob Noob has something he wants to address. Fuck that piece of shit, David Harbour. I hope he gets rectal aids. I'm pretty sure you were like standing on David Harbour up until I literally told you about this article. I want to eat someone's ass with AIDS and then hold David Harbour down and eat his ass with AIDS and give him AIDS. <laughs> okay. That's what he deserves. <laughs> Let's Fucking go. Fucking Russian prick. He's not Russian. Let's go well, to the story. he's Russian in a movie, so that makes him Russian. Ah, uh, yes. So... David Harbour, he had one co-star that Where's he really Peter? hated. Where's fucking Peter? He hated his co-star so much that he requested it be killed off. This man on a live interview said he wants to kill a dog. Why haven't we chopped his dick off, strung him up, and then autoerotic asphyxiated him like David Carradine? This is fucking bullshit. You just choke him to death with yes. what you cut off. With his sloppless fat penis. Oh my god. So I fucking hate David Harbour now. I used to love him. He was even Hellboy. He was Hellboy, and I, I enjoyed that movie. Even though it was the a terrible, piece of, terrible movie. It was movie. a piece of shit, but I was like, David Harbour makes it good. I've what never actually watched Stranger Things, his most famous role. You've never seen Stranger no, Things? I've never wrong seen it. So why do you hate him so much for wanting to kill this dog? Maybe this dog was a jerk. No! All dogs are not jerks. Dogs are jerks because he was a jerk. So he uh. clearly tried to probably butt fuck this poor dog. Wow. Yeah. So uh, let's just read the story a little bit. There is no love lost between David Harbour and the pooch that played the Byers family dog Chester in a few early episodes of Stranger Things. A recent guest on the popular, popular YouTube series, Hot Ones, which we have not yet been guests of. Hint, hint, hint. Uh, the film and, and TV actor was asked about a comment he provided, or he previously made about how difficult the dog was to work with on the Netflix series in which he plays Sheriff Jim Hopper. <laughs> he says, please read. Uh, whoa, hold on. I hated that fucking dog so bad. First off, maybe that dog hated you, you commie prick. So he's, uh, basically the dog was not as well trained as the production had been told, and it got under his skin big time. What could a dog on set possibly do to you? Let's see. Not listen? I don't No, no, here's what he's annoyed about. You want me to read it? Yeah, please. Oh, okay. Take after take, it would wander off or do something. I don't know, maybe it had to take a shit, David. And then, and then I remember the trainer on the sideline going, come on, we gotta make our money. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, that's his job. Making money is part of that. Yeah, I walked up then I was like, you know, the buyer should probably have that dog put to sleep next season. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> what a piece of shit. maybe you should be put to sleep, David Harbour. Wow. You fat obese fuck. So he goes, uh, we never talk. He says the dog has not been in the show since the initial season. We never talk about it the whole rest of the show it says we should find it in the upside down or in one of the so he literally wants the dog tortured yeah david harbour hates puppies and he is literally a communist so why is he not being canceled so let's go to the next story why is this communist invading prick hired by china not been canceled i don't know what's going on here but <laughs> instead of the haitian president being murdered why haven't we shot david harbour <laughs> so apparently david harbour touts socialism during his black widow promo and calls for kindergarten type society i don't understand because like first scarlett johansson is like this is the me too movie of all me too movies and it really wasn't and then david harbour is like Socialism, great, so good, you commie bastard. He doesn't. He's befuddled as to how anyone could oppose socialism. Here, please read. That doesn't this. even make any sense. I don't know that there's anyone who could disagree with socialist ideology. If you work at Starbucks and you make the coffee, then you should own it. You're the one making the coffee. No, you're not the one making the coffee. No. You're the one producing the coffee. Yeah, because, you know, someone has to grow the coffee first. And then those beans have to be transported to Starbucks before you can grind said coffee. So you're not really making the coffee. 
you know, so somebody had to pay the guy to grow them and then pay the guy to transport them and then pay you to quote unquote make the coffee. That, sir, is called capitalism and capitalism always wins. Always wins. Uh, hopefully, because David Harbour should not win because he's a bitch. He also went on to rant. The Stranger Things star went to a bad rap given to communism due to its historical track record of police states, gulags, human right abuses, and mass murder. So I think if you read any historical text, whether it be written in the United States or written in Poland or even in Russia, you will understand that Communism Stalin killed millions of people. Mussolini Mao killed Zedong a bunch of people. Mao Zedong killed millions of people. Hitler killed Fidel, a bunch of people. He's fascist. Oh. Fidel Castro killed millions of people. Communism, I'm afraid, my friends, does not work. It just doesn't. Literally never worked. Yet this commie prick is like, you know what we should be? Communists. So I guess he says something that the fact that the implementation of these things has led to some of the deepest fascism in our society. So people assume that communism means fascism to a certain degree. And that's a terrible thing. Pretty sure the USSR was not fascist. In fact, they fought Hitler in the war, and he was a fascist. This man is mentally challenged. He struggles a little bit. I mean, he did marry Lillian. It is, yeah, well, and she's British. And you don't know who she is. She might she be fascist. She has three nipples. Does she? 100% has that's, three nipples. She's not attractive enough for three nipples. <laughs> Have you ever seen her? I... You are correct. She's white and has <laughs> hair. Oh, you are correct. Okay. <laughs> I guess, okay, so he says his ideal society as opposed to this world where we're hunting and killing and destroying for our own personal hoarding and our own personal greed, he said. Um, dude, you make, you're a millionaire. I'm going to assume he's a millionaire because we're not millionaires and we don't hang out with him and he hasn't given us a million dollars, has he? And he has touched Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson. So he's a millionaire. Yeah. So I'm going to say that he is privileged. You, sir, have privilege. And he's white. He's white privilege. Oh, my God. He is the definition of white privilege. And he I should have. give all of his money to our races, which have been disparaged. And I have Specifically hiccups. mine, but not yours. I'm super white. I've been disparaged for being too white and too great. No. I've been, like, I'm almost so great and white that I've been disparaged. <laughs> oh, my God. You should... Cut it. Should I? You are very white. I am. I don't know why I agree. With to a even slight hint of tan, because I'm Italian. Ah, yes. And we I'm all, a little bit of Irish. We all know what happened to the but Italians. David Harbour is a piece of shit. I wouldn't give him me lucky charms if I had a gun to me head. And it's ill to win me butthole. So, uh, here we have a dog murdering communist Tommy bastard. Prick. Yes. And. We're our reviews will kill you, and we survived a Gotti hit, so we can survive whatever David Harbor has for us. Even though I still like the guy as an actor, he can keep acting. Just shut your mouth. What I would like to do for every subscribe, we're gonna collect David Harbor's feces, <laughs> put it in a satchel, and then harden it with dry ice, and, and then, then beat, beat that David like, Harbor. Oh, I thought you were gonna beat the like button. No, we're gonna we're gonna beat the like Harbor, and then beat David like Harbor, Harbor like Chris Brown beat Rihanna. Wow. Yeah. You put together so much there. There's a lot of words that I said, and all of it ends in David Harbour getting beat with his own shit. <laughs> so anyway. So like uh, and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you want that to happen. <laughs> um, be sure. That's a hot take. <laughs> be, Literally. <laughs> we're a little so, bit frozen because there's dry ice and Oh, my God. Be sure to catch our live streams on Friday night, 730 Eastern Standard Time, because that is the greatest of all time zones. Yeah. Be sure to catch our audio podcast, because it's the greatest of all podcasts. It is. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, or... We'll send either David Harbor or a Gotti hit after you. Yes. We also have Instagram. That's orc underscore you. That'd uh, be cool too. That's the thing. Yeah. But in the meantime, we're on to the next one. Mm -hmm.